Hello everyone, and welcome to my sword build. This build utilizes, as you've seen from the clip, utilizes adamantine from Axe in order to give you a short period of time where you cannot be interrupted. It's like a hyper armor or something like that. You can just tank everything and go wild on the enemy. So why did I choose to go with the Axe combination? Why did I incorporate Axe into this build? It's simple. While fighting bosses, I thought that the build was doing okay damage at first because I uh, I started with 4 pieces triumphant of tranquility in order to get the 15% extra damage and active skill from melee and, and the 50 attack it will it will amount to 14.7 extra damage this 50 I calculated it was 1.7 1.73 I think if I remember correctly 1.73 extra damage okay the 50 attack and sword when your sword is at level 10 and your skill and heart both both at level 99 and you have remodeled your sword as i said i was getting interrupted a lot especially against bosses so my other option was to use two gallant four pieces triumphant of tranquility and axe but then i thought since i'm using axe i'm already getting rage i don't need yamamba i had yamamba over here so i incorporated toxic slime into the build and I'm not sure whether you know this or not, but Toxic Slime is even better at putting poison on the enemy than the uh, ninjutsu stuff. Using this Soul Core ability two times will put the poison effect on any enemy in the game. It's much stronger than the Poison Shuriken. I need three Poison Shuriken to put the poison on Atakemaru, while I need two spits from the, <laughs> from the Toxic Slime Soul Core to put it on Atakemaru just as a, as a as a form of reference all right and you can the, the and you can like do it twice in a row so there is no no gap between the two throws or the two spits okay so since i can incorporate or put poison easily on the enemies by one poison spit on every normal enemy in the game so i can always benefit from the poison ability which is uh 50% uh, over here and 16% from or 17% from Atsuri no Kami. So why not also incorporate the call it snake helmet. So 17% from the snake helmet was a must. Having added the helmet, I was always gonna have 20% night rain. Now I couldn't get four pieces with the axe and the poison helmet. I couldn't get four pieces from triumphant of tranquility and two pieces from gallant since I only had five pieces to work with all right that's why i went with this combination instead i lost six percent in uh, active skill damage while i have now nine percent in everything in melee damage on the other hand i also gained 17 percent from the uh, poison helmet and i was always gonna use the axe because as i said the axe is uh, 
is a must to have in my opinion if you're not using paralysis to play with the sword let's start with the build uh, use active skill or high active skill because most of our focus is going to be on high active skill whatever gave you the highest number go for it poison and poison accumulation on everything life drain active skill because it's higher than high ac than than high attack and uh, attack bonus heart or skill you need adamantine over here and preferably maybe active skill key consumption it's not it's not important but it will save you some key the uh, ravenwing rifle is is there for the set bonus of course and uh, the warrior of the west is for the extra life snake helmet you can't temper any skill on the snake helmet and so i went with toughness instead attack of course on all pieces and morning moon on all pieces now this is another another point that needs explanation why morning moon why not ei quick draw again if we're not if you're not using paralysis i felt that ei quick draw because i had to change stances between night train and mid stance with ei quick draw or vice versa you cannot have night train and ei quick draw in the same stance that made things more difficult to deal with while fighting in in the midst of battle at the heat of battle if you're not a sword expert you will not be able to utilize ei quick draw one more thing morning moon even though it does less damage however as as uh, as more buff you put on yourself the difference in damage percentage will go down this is what i've noticed while attacking with morning moon you can first reduce the distance between you and the enemy sometimes morning moon will put you in a position where you're behind the enemy and you can use night train to attack him from behind so that's really nice and it's it's a change of pace to be honest so every sword build out there utilizes yeah quick draw i felt okay that's not the sole reason of course because the build is fast you need hits that can hit fast so you only have 30 seconds if you're not very good at utilizing that uh, uh, key pulse ei quick draw thing the the time to activate ei quick draw is too long that's why i felt like morning moon was the better option all right so uh, it's the normal setup that i use in, in all of my builds toughness of course on all pieces you can go defense if you want and you need only one toughness in one piece to be at a toughness um as i said nothing special you need this elemental damage taken while guarding you need it on three of your pieces to receive zero elemental damage when you are being attacked by elemental attack okay i'm i'm, I'm moving slowly because some people complained uh, in previous videos that i might be moving too fast so that's why now you can see everything on the belt if you want to copy paste all right so we have a green magatama a poisonous green magatama defense bonus magic our magic is kind of high life recovery emerita absorption and the poisonous yasakani same thing over here all right you can go with wise general spell box as well it's uh, a good option however i liked the fact that i had this uh, an, uh, toxic slime with anima bonus poisoned enemy instead of enemy poisoned so i felt like i would get more charge from the every time i put poison on the enemy which was is gonna be a lot all right so that's why i went with the uh, magatama instead of the wise general spell box but wise general spell box is gonna be extremely nice it's gonna be a good choice if you tried or if you wanted to go with something that will help you in your key recovery because even though our key recovery is okay our key is high so in order to go from zero key to maximum key it'll take time so it will help to get the wise generous belt box all right magitsu warrior of course for the active skill damage and cumulative damage if you want more defense as always you can go in ryuki uh, secondary guardian spirit i went with ino sasao for the 7.5 percent reduced damage while guarding uh, while being attacked while attacking all right and for the skills for the sword i you, you you should i mean like for me personally i only need morning moon flowing shadow and night rain however of course the uh, sort of execution mystic arts however i purchased everything in the sword tree in order you know this this build was mainly made because people will kind of bored with using only one sword skill so i utilized everything in the sword tree however uh, 
in my skill customization I did not bother customize any other skills because I'm ex exclusively using high stance in this build you can use whatever you want with the rest of course we have AI quick draw over here if you're going with AI quick draw instead of morning moon you can uh, put damage bonus based on heart or skill over here instead of morning moon now one thing I want to mention the uh, the sword the problem with the sword it did not have a skill that was good in putting stats ailments on the enemy unlike for example from the hatchet deadly spiral or from um, uh, the kusarigama the l1 triangle what was it called yeah crimson flurry these two are very good at putting whatever stats ailment that you want on the enemy even if you didn't have any sort of uh, saturation accumulation burn accumulation poison accumulation you can just put the stats effect on the enemy by having something like arcane of fire or arcane of water I could not find something that will do the same thing in sword Let's look at the stat distribution now the clip that you've seen in the beginning of the video is with uh, level sync on as you can see from here level sync is on the scale is there the problem with having level sync on is that it reduced the magic the magic you need magic at around 60 actually 60 seems to be the magic number in order for sloth talisman to work properly if you have magic below I tried magic below uh, 60 I tried at 50 it wasn't working that good for some reason going from 50 to 60 will increase the sloth talisman by uh, a decent amount of time it's not a proportionate base I mean it's not one point in magic equals this amount of time I think there is uh, like a cap once you hit that cap the sloth talisman the time the sloth talisman will last on, on someone like Utakimaru since his, his resistance to magic will increase uh, quite substantially that's why I recommend not using level sync while doing this however with level sync both magic both uh, weakness and sloth didn't perform as good so if you if you're one of those people who always work with level sync i would recommend going 40 constitution instead for extra survivability and 30 magic only utilize the magic that you can apply on yourself also uh, uh, substitute weakness and sloth with life leech in order to be able to maintain or to sustain or to increase your survivability even more okay how you like how do you like my vocabulary usage over there all right let's test the build I don't know whether anything I haven't mentioned the clan uses Honda as always um, of course Sayaka Itagarasu you get from Sayaka Maguchi Gallant from Utakimaru the snake helmet from the special mission over here in the interim you find the guy in the um, bird in a cage mission first you give him around 20 dung ball and then you can find him over here you give him another 20 or something like that and he'll give you the smithing text for the snake helmet all right we'll switch level sync on over here and we'll test the build okay as usual we should increase our Spirit stone or our emeritic gauge to maximum and then just go nuts on the gaki. I did I didn't really need to do that, but <laughs> why not? Okay. As you've seen, uh, his his hit didn't really stagger me. If I had been wearing the triumphant of tranquility set I would have been staggered very easily from that hit. ah come on I thought I was gonna get you from that okay whoa whoa come on don't do that that was not nice uh, where 
there is okay. I think this guy is resistant to poison, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, he's he's Ah. See you can spam it as well. Even though I wasted uh I wasted a lot that I couldn't have wasted. Alright. Take this. And just go wild. Okay, now I think the Inky will make an appearance, right? Okay, yeah. All right. I don't know why did I roll just now, because I just felt like there was some danger coming from behind. Huh. Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 where did you come from? Come on, man. No ah, I wanted to no Ah, to break his horn. Mm, okay, this is bad. Ah, I got him. Ah, who else? Ooh, senor. Maybe go to the... Well, let's utilize the life lead first. Put weakness on. Put weakness here. Yes, yes. Okay. I was in the wrong stance. See, see, that's the that's why I utilize the adamantine because without adamantine, this is gonna happen. I deliberately chose this stage to show you what's gonna happen when you're not using adamantine. Okay, very fast. Let us use rage. And then, uh, Adamantine, change to high stance, switch sword, and put weakness, then poison, okay, he's poisoned, come on man, do, do something, okay, uh, no, weakness, weakness. As you can see, this is with level sync on guys, huh? Going shadow. We're not done? Okay, we're done. Well, that was the build. You've seen the uh, performance of the build in a normal stage and the performance of the build against bosses. Um, of course, the real strength of the build came against Chipata because we had our buffs on. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like share and subscribe if you did if you didn't leave a dislike and tell us in the comments why did you leave a dislike i've been abudinator and you've been watching abudinator gaming take care of yourself and see you next time